Watch out, Gleeks! Movie theaters sell slushies. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Glee, the 3D concert movie. The movie. Believe the music. In 3D. Glee, the 3D concert movie. Hey, if Hannah Montana and Justin Bieber can have successful 3D concert movies, why not Glee? In fact, this is a growing trend and one of the best uses of 3D yet, giving audiences the chance to experience a tour they couldn't get tickets to see in person. And it was indeed hard to get a ticket to see Glee live in concert, an immensely popular tour across North America and Europe in 2010 and 2011. But these movies even go one step further, taking audiences backstage during the show. What's the mood like back there? Well, these days, it's not exactly rosy. When it was recently announced that Leah Michelle, Corey Monteith, and Chris Colfer would be graduating on schedule and therefore leaving the show, the actors had some harsh words for creator Ryan Murphy in the press. Murphy shot back that the actors had known this was the plan all along and had even been included in discussions about a possible spinoff following the trio to Juilliard. Upset, Murphy put the idea of a spinoff on hold and promised to keep the popular characters on Glee. Is he doing it to please fans, punish the talent, or both? Who knows, but another actor who will be sitting on the bench is Jane Lynch. Sue Sylvester does not appear in the 3D movie despite her taped appearances in the live concert. She will, however, appear on the DVD version. So, will audiences head to the Cineplex to watch what they can see at home for free? Although, the third season doesn't start until September 20th. How does Glee hold up on the big screen? It was pretty cool. I liked it. Yeah? Yeah, it was really fun. How was the movie? Um, it was pretty good. I haven't like seen the show, but um, I was just interested in the movie. I've, um, How was the movie love then? Singer, I yeah? love singer, so uh, I just came to see it. Uh, How was it? Was it? Really it? It was lovely. What made you go and see it today? Uh, I've been waiting for a long time to see it. So yeah. Yeah? yeah, yeah. Are you a big fan of the show? Yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah, I mean, I, I watched the show. I don't know if I would say I'm a gleek, per se. Oh, OK, but. there's a lot of us. I watch it occasionally, too, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what was your favorite song that they sang in the film? Um, I've listened to the songs. Um, I'm not sure which one uh, was my favorite. Um, they they, were, they were, all, were all cool. You mean in the movie? Yeah, what song was you like uh, the best? Born This Way. Probably Born This Way. Oh, oh great. Yeah. Yeah, someone else said that, too. That's yeah. really interesting. I like yeah. the songs that made me, or reminded me of the show, I guess. Like the, oh. the storylines in the show. Like going backstage, did you get a good feel for the characters? Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was cool. I like the fact that they kept the like characters of the show. Like it wasn't like, it was Rachel and it wasn't like, you know, the name of the actress, that was fun. Oh really? Oh, they were in character backstage yeah. and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. It was pretty interesting, yeah. I guess there's a lot of good messages for young people, for, you know, people that don't really fit in. I feel like the show's given them, you know, a reason to, um, you know, just take pride in themselves. Is, it worth, is Glee, uh, the 3D concert, worth seeing in theaters? Absolutely, yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah, you're going to have fun. What do you give it on a 1 to 10? Uh, 8. At least 8. A 9? You know, for a movie about not being afraid to be yourself, a surprising number of Gleeks didn't want to be on camera. But the ones who did overall gave the movie an 8. And we're out here every week covering every major new release, so be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AMC Empire 25, and I hope you'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.